Facebook world. <laughs> Welcome, Facebook world. We love you. We're back. It is the well, Love Lincoln, Lincoln's Tony. back. The Love Our Tony show. I'm back. He's back. It's the Love Our Tony show. We're coming to you live with Tito. With Tito. <laughs> And we're chilling. So um, yeah, sit back and relax. Sit back and relax. Enjoy the show. Uh, we, we we get so many requests for new shows. It's almost like that. Who who are those those two women who actually they tried to ban Fire and Ice? Um, that the Fire and, that that Fire and Ice show that uh, oh, with I've Big Trump, I heard it. Big, big right. President yeah, Trump fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're Diamond almost as, we're so almost as popular as them. Uh, oh, love so. them. Love their show too. Diamond and, love love Silk. Diamond and Silk. Diamond and Silk. Diamond and silk. You're the white diamond and silk. We're the we're we're that. We're the we're the diamonds. There's Teal. Uh, he's security for the evening and right. also My he's buddy. the one who, he's the one who started the camera. Uh, so <laughs> what do you got for uh, any 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 uh, shout outs for fun? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, got, we got to start with uh, Mother's Day coming up. <laughs> come here, buddy, come here. So for everybody out there who has a mother, which is probably everybody out there. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> John's getting raised. You know, uh, John's Tito getting thinks, Tito thinks I'm his mom. <laughs> Wait, he, help me out here, will you? Hey, he had his share of me. For three, for three hours, he's been licking my face, so now it's your turn, buddy. He goes face ass. Tito, he's ass. He, okay. It's good. Good boy. You see, you got the middle seat. Okay. The middle seat. Okay. okay. Wow. Woo. So that, anyway, was, that was actually erotic. I, I missed your last show. You did miss <laughs> Tito, please. You did miss last show. Um, I, I was home. I got a call, you know, hey, we're going to do a show. And I'm like, well, I can't do a show without my favorite band's shirt. Guar. Guar, of course. Guar. And by the time it got washed and dried, you know, we're done with it. That's right. He was, If you recall, he was getting dressed. Uh, we thought he was canning with Tex. But uh, I guess he wasn't. No, so. Tex isn't ready to can yet. He's not canning? No, it's not really? season. It's not canning season. We, see, we figured that you knew some certain tricks to can early, and you were there teaching him. I, it's hard to teach Tex anything. It's true. But he's grilling. Someday, I, 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 you guys will maybe do a show from Tex's, uh, I guess you call it a carport. Tex has these, he's like multiple grills. It's like back in, in the day when guys had multiple keyboards. Texas got like he's surrounded. He's like the Rick Wakeman <laughs> he, of, right? of, of, gr of grilling. Yeah. He does. He, he does. Is, yeah. So anyway, um, just to kick off, remember uh, uh, I, I, the BFF thing, and my friend. I, Our first I, episode, we talked about that. Yes, and my friend Shannon. I know you're watching, Shannon. Hi, Shannon. Shannon, you are one of my. This is my BFF, but you're a BFF. Well, Shannon... She's uh, your best female friend. She, See, that's she's the thing. one of many. One of many. I adore Shannon. Shannon he's, and he's I go player. back... He's a player. ...about seven years or more. Probably in April, I think it was seven years. But um, I would give a shout-out to Shannon and her cleaning business. It's called About to Shine Cleaning. Look them up on Facebook. Look them up on Facebook. Um, here's a cool thing, and, and uh, I follow their, their, their Facebook page... Just recently, Shannon has two daughters. One of them, of course, went to the prom. But About to Shine put an ad out to senior parents who may be hurting ec economically, and they offered to buy their son or daughter the ticket to the prom. Right. And I thought that was so classic. Yeah. Shannon loved it. They also offered to, uh, if, if kids needed a ride to and from the prom, they all offered that. Free also, so That's this cool. is a small business out of Emmaus. Very cool. About to shine cleaning. Uh, they're residential, commercial, uh, odor control, everything. Check them out. Well, yeah, definitely look them up. You look them up. Shannon, Lincoln, Labar, friend them. He'll friend you back. We're now BFFs ourselves. We, we are. We are. Shannon, love you. You know I love you. Three way BFF. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> it's all good. He's he's yeah he's a weirdo. And, and we'll even add, we'll even add Tito. We'll even add Tito. Program. He'll make out with you like he just did with me. Uh, How about you? Will any sponsor or thing going on? And I, by the way, that's about well, to shine cleaning sponsor. Shannon, love you. My only sponsor would be you know besides Guar would Boar. probably be my favorite snack, which actually Tex who was here but he had to go home because he did have some canning to do. <laughs> he's canning. He brought me some Swedish fish. Now okay, on the last episode, which Lincoln couldn't make, Marty said. 
Lincoln's body may be a little out of shape due to goldfish. He was wrong. It was out Swedish shape. fish. Out of shape. It's, he's out of shape. No, don't do that. No. It's going to say. We don't I, do that. I've got the beautiful ass in the world. Before, out of yeah. shape. Yeah, okay. Before that happens. All right. Ah, okay. So we're, our show's, uh, it's taken off. We're, 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 you know, it's, it's so viral. It's, it's, it's pretty amazing. And of course. But I'll tell you a reason why. It's our, it's our guests we have. Well, Tito. of course, it's Tito. Everybody loves Tito. But some of our guests, of course, we're going to bring them out right now. Uh, <laughs> my dear friend Marty, our musical guest and our guitarist. Marty, let him rip. Mordicus. Tito, you know you're killing me. Marty, he's Someone killing me. Someone come give him the hook. I'm used to okay. this because I have two well, dogs. Know, okay, and our next oh. guest. Oh. <laughs> Lincoln, introduce a guest, will you? All right. Yeah. Uh, Do some work here. Who do we want to bring out oh, first? Cool, okay. He's good. Let's bring out the resident weightlifter. A, a resident weightlifter? Yeah. Tito's the resident There's dude. somebody. Uh, there's somebody here in the room. Do I look like a female dog? That can dog lift me in... <laughs> <laughs> me and John and Tito all at one time. All right, buddy, good boy. And she just happens to be married to this guy here. Yes. So, first time on the show, I believe, correct? Yes. Let's bring out a rookie. The gorgeous Miss Katie. Katie. <laughs> Katie Well, we're about a girl's back. No, we're not going to anyway. So, uh, and then lastly, I hope we can get him in. But he's the reason this show gets all the views. Yeah. Uh, he's, a, he's a rock star. Everybody loves this uh, guy. Adore this man. Uh, he gets his favorite band's intro. Yes. We call him Pop. His name's Dean. Pop, come on in, then. So anyway, we were here earlier, we were playing a little pool. We did? I sunk three balls in one shot, by the yeah, way. Yes, on the Balls to the wall, man, is what it was. But Dude, of course, it was this, awesome. this, this guy here. Sandbagger. Yeah. Sorry. Right. See what I mean, Our team did win. Yeah. Team $3 haircut. Yeah, of course. Team of course. $3 Naturally. haircut. Team $3 haircut. Naturally. So, um, I wanted to bring up, because Katie is a power lifter. Correct, Katie? Correct, that's correct. Yes. yes. So, uh, and I, if, if, if you're friends with Katie on Facebook, maybe you've seen some of her videos, it's just incredible. She could bench press me and Lincoln combined. Wait, listen, and yes. God, she, she, uh, actually, I had a flat tire the other day. She deadlifted my car. <laughs> she picked the car up. It. Yeah, my yeah. SUV. Yeah. Right? And, and the there. lug nuts were too tight. I, I, she she was just like, went like this. She's like, I'm good. It was like yeah. a half hour. She I'm good. <laughs> and I did a little higher, so she was curling my, my, my Explorer. But... Um, so there, there, we, we saw, I saw this thing on Facebook, and uh, uh, it's, a, it's a, a, I guess, a gender thing going on. It's, this person is a, is, is, is a, is a power lifter, and it's, it was it was born, a female. He's a, yeah, he's a, born a male, and now he's... It, it, it like is that. a female bodybuilder, and I asked ask Katie, I'd like to ask Katie what you feel, how do you feel about this? I mean, give me your opinion. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair either. If I were the one that had all those records that... This person broke. I'd be pissed. I would be pissed. Too. I think they have an unfair advantage. Yes, exactly. absolutely. And uh, as and that uh, has nothing to do with the way you identify yourself as right. gender. It's just males and females have different. And, and as different. I mean, Katie's just like a daughter to me. But if she were my daughter, I'd be pissed more than she would be. That that some thing decided he's gonna he she what what is he it, it, it I, I, it's I gonna it's gonna decide yeah, he, it's it's not an it. So, I mean, I'm sorry, it, it may be not politically correct, but neither am I. I'm not a politician. Do I look like a politician? I doubt <laughs> You got so. the hair of Trump. I do have some of President Trump's hair. Um, because both of you have huge hair. We have huge hair. Huge. Although, huge. His is blonde, mine's white. But anyway, I digress. Go ahead. So, no, uh, let's, let's ask Pop on that. Uh, Pop, what's your position on the, this gender thing? Definitely not. 
if, if you're a male, you don't compete in female competitions. You don't. You know? I agree. Be, you know, man up and, and compete with somebody that can compete with you. There you go. I, I mean, like that, man up. It's nothing to do with your gender association. You can, you know, whatever you associate yourself with. You can be a rabbit but if it's you just want. A, but you talking about being a fair. Male yeah. Just don't play sports. We're just talking fair. It's a different gender. It is. Listen, You're right. there's, there's male and female sports for a reason. There's yep. a reason there's no men in the WNBA, correct? Correct. Right. Right. Marty? Yeah, I agree. If you have a weenie, stick with weenies. If you don't, stick with non-weenies. That's, I lo- that's a good way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> we got that. I haven't, I haven't <laughs> particularly heard it put that way. That's not a good song. Was that on the key? <laughs> that, that might be on the new Venom Assembly. <laughs> <laughs> I got a reading. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, it's all right. And, all right, and so, I, I, I apologize if we offended anybody. Yeah, it's not sorry. about we're offending gonna, anybody. We're, we're, we're going to speak our piece on and the Love Our Tony show. And if we're going to go so from we'll, Weenies, we might as well go right to, who do you want to go to, Texas? Uh, well, I would go to, like, let's Julie hold too. Let's hold there a second. Let's hold there a second. I would go, I would talk a uh, thing with Pop Marty, all of us. Let me start with Marty. Uh, so I know we talked about this before. Marty's, again, greatest guitar player I know. Who, who was, there are two, two questions. Who was your favorite guitarist? And if there was a different guitarist, who was your inspiration? Uh, Eddie Van Halen is definitely my favorite. I started out playing the drums, and then the the, uh, and the guitar player used to leave the guitar when I have older brothers, so they had all their tapes, and I just started listening to Van Halen, picked up the guitar, and I never put it down. So Eddie Van Halen is definitely my favorite. And I think the best guitar player, hands down, that live. Yeah. I would say one of the most inspirational guitar players, and it's my second favorite guitar player, is probably Steve Lynch from Autograph. Okay. And funny story, I actually got to see him play live twice. We did I shook his hand myself. and told him yes, how did. big of a fan of his, and I said, you're my second favorite guitar player. <laughs> but next to Eddie, so that's kind of a compliment. And Marty could play circles around But that very guy. melodic, yeah, and just, I love his tone, so. That yeah, would be absolutely. It. The pop, another guitar player, uh, very good guitar player. What? Uh, how about you, pop? Same, same questions. Well, it's be Angus. your favorite, Angus Young. Angus Young. ACDC is is my number one band. Very cool. But I uh, I also love Iron Maiden and Judas Priest. Right. I, I I just love the rockers. Okay. Hard and heavy. Right. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Katie, I know you played piano. Just one. Any any inspirations to you? Uh, well, I have to say Marty. He's my favorite guitar player. What'd you think? Oh, See, there you go. You're my first favorite. Somebody's getting, <laughs> somebody's getting it tonight. Um, From Lincoln. Tito. <laughs> Lincoln, Lincoln's, uh, thinks he's a drummer. So, no, who's, who's... First off, let me say this about playing drums. I'm a novice at best. There are some people out there that are phenomenal drummers, and I gotta give everybody... This guy here could play rings around me if he wanted to. I couldn't even sure. begin to, t- so I got to give shout out to all the drummers out there. But when Understood. it comes to guitar players, it's weird. I mean, I grew up, obviously I had an older brother and he was a big Hendrix fan. So Hendrix was a big inspiration to me. Some people think, ah, oh, he was just another drugged out guy, he just made some noise. But to me, he really, he really was a phenomenal guitar player. But then, you know, as time goes on, you change a little bit. Dave Navarro, James Addiction, had a big, I just love his sound, the way he just plays. Every, and okay. So it goes on and on. I mean, right. it's hard for me to pinpoint one or two great guitarists, one or two great drummers, one or two great vocalists. Yeah, but that's a good point because there's a lot of guitar players that I like who are great songwriters. Right. But like Jimmy Page, phenomenal. Mm-hmm. But as a guitar player, he's, he's really good. He's not in my yeah. top ten, but as a songwriter... He's he's a lot better of a songwriter than other guys who are technically right. better. Right. His songwriting is just amazing. Now I will say, as far as people I play with, this guy has got to be probably number one. Oh, sure. But I have had some luck to play with some other great guys. Right. So, I mean, there's so much talent everywhere. It's hard to pinpoint who's the best, who's mm-hmm. your favorite, this or that. Well, it's you know, it's it's just. It's, but it's you know, your pers- it's your personal right. preference, it's, it's basically. Right. Yeah, well, my, personal, and, and, and there's some band. I mean, I love Tool. Is he right. the greatest guitar player? Some people say right. he's just playing a riff or this and that. It just it depends on what you really just get into. Well, from my end, and we spoke of this before. Uh, one of my inspirations was George Harrison, who was underrated, I thought. But uh, again, I won't say who, who the best was, but some of some of my favorites. Alex Lifeson from Rush, 
and Tom Scholz and Barry Goodrow from Boston. I like the way they played together and chimed together. Yeah. It's, it's different stuff. And, and everybody had a certain sound, too. Exactly. You right. know, I don't know if you know this, but Alex Lyson has an awesome solo record. Right. I don't know oh, if yeah, you've ever heard A lot of those yeah. guys have done solo records. Yeah. 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 There's Neil yeah. Sean. And right. And Alex, you know, Alex is... And it's a shame that oh, nowadays... Trio. That's three guys. So. Nowadays, I mean, there's no... Nobody's making any money off of music, so nobody's putting out a lot of music. Nobody's touring. Touring right. a little bit. Maybe they make a couple of bucks. And it's mostly classic rock bands. You don't see anything new coming out that really just right. grabs you by the balls and it's, says, oh my yeah, God, it's... Yeah, not awesome. anymore. Not anymore. I, it's, so. the, the state of music nowadays is kind of sad. It is. It is that. So, I'll be moved to some shout-outs right away. Oh, I got to get a shout out to my Take number one. one fan, Andrea. Andrea, definitely. I mean, that girl, I don't know. Washington Tracy, State. Tracy's another one. Tracy, I love right. Tracy. Tracy, yep. And then, of course, we always got to mention Julius. Julius. Which, no. a matter of fact, we were having a little jam earlier. Yes. Marty broke a string. Yes. Now, he didn't change it. He just jumped to another guitar. Right. But he changed guitars without like missing a beat. But it was like, yeah, he didn't beat. even miss a good yeah. beat. Exactly. So yeah. our suggestion now for Julius is always have like eight or nine guitars <laughs> stringed up and ready to go. Right. right. That way, no matter what, all you got to do is just grab another Wait, one. With eight or nine go. amps, so you don't even have to plug in and out. You just pick it up. It's already plugged into another amp. Exactly. So that's even quicker. Again, you know, I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, couldn't he wear like three or four guitars at one time? Well, yeah, I've seen... Swing them around. I think there's a video with uh, yeah, with Tenacious D where the guy's got like seven, eight guitar right. necks. Yeah. And again, I, you know, I'm sorry to cut you up again to correct you. W. Julius. Oh, W. W. Yeah, yeah. w Julius. The artist. When he's an artist. He's an artist. He's w. Right. He is, when yeah. he's just driving around he's picking Julio? up dead bodies, he's Julius. And I know Julio. He did, he did enjoy that. I think it's Julio D. Julio D by the schoolyard. Yes. Me and Julio down Me by the range of like... Julio down by the schoolyard. Right? Down by the schoolyard. Down by the schoolyard. But it's W. It's W. Or um, down by the coroner's office for W. Yeah. 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 Me and Julio down by, the, down by my hearse. Somebody's got to do that job. Down by my pimped out hearse. Because he got, he got it he tinted. He the window's tinted. I was that was say, sweet. He's got a nice ride. That's man. sweet, right? Yeah, right? I mean, if you're going to go on your final ride... Go in a nice fucking go, vehicle. Yeah. Okay. So, you might as well go with Julius. Go, you might as well go with Julius. Good call. You know, when, when, I, when I kick, I want, Juli thing is, I want Julius to give me my final ride. The Let's sad thing is, way. you don't know whether you're riding in a Cadillac or being drugged behind a Volkswagen. What? You don't yeah. know. You don't. You you're don't. dead. <laughs> True. So True. profound. Like this, there there you profound go. words. Wow. Oh, that's... What is it's just a remote. It's a remote. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're just checking this stuff out. There's no, there's no, there's <laughs> there's there's no there hidden stacks here at the, Why is at the Racket Chusky house. So, uh, any more shout outs? Marty, give me a shout out. Uh, shout out to Kristen, who couldn't be here. We had a great band practice tonight. Hope you're feeling I better. I did. I did sing a bunch of your songs. He I didn't know any so of the words. You couldn't hear the lyrics. I just kind of blah, 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 blah. kind of like when you do uh, the door song there, and you just kind of <laughs> yeah, make that. Yeah, was, I'm going to eat a bunch of something. Way, or yeah, it was way. I, like that's that. what I did all night long. There's a lot it, of that. It, it came out all right. And a shout out to Wicked Beaver. We're going to be playing next Saturday. OPP. OPP, OPP, OPP. be there. Come OPP. see the show yeah. next Saturday. Good show. It's going to be a good show. Absolutely. Katie, Pop. any shout outs? Katie, shout out. You got a trainer. I'll, I'll give a shout out to my trainer, yeah. George Sebetsky, personal trainer. George A. Check him out. He's a great Sweet. person, great trainer. He knows the stuff. He's, yeah. I bet he's good. He's doing a great trainer. job. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so yeah. are you. Thank Pop. you. Hey, if you, if you get as strong as I do, I'm going to have to start training with George. I was going <laughs> to say, <laughs> well, be my it, trainer. it probably well. takes a strong woman to keep this guy in mind. <laughs> right? <laughs> We're both training with George. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Pop, what do you got? Body by George. Give a shout out. Well... I'll, I'll just give a quick shout out to my wife Patricia. Absolutely, we all love her. She's feeling well. Yeah. We all love her. I mean, you know what, Pop? You missed the boat on this one. I did. Did your granddaughter just have a birthday? Oh yes. Shout she out did. to Bob Cassidy. Bob. Happy birthday, shout out to Cassidy. He what is she now? Twenty. She's twenty-five now. He was getting out to it. She is now fourteen. Fourteen. Going on Twelve. 25. Happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it, man. She's a great kid. She's fourteen. My grandson's thirteen. They're all bigger than all of us. They are, right? They are. What the hell's going uh, on nowadays? Shout out. So. To my to Joel. son. How about Joel? Absolutely, yeah. Joel. Joel. Great job, Joel. Pride and joy, man. Had a great season. Fantastic kick, year. Kick butt this year. Uh, love you to death. Um, yeah. Uh, and actually, his teammates. I'll tell you, the seniors, the seniors who are, won't be playing anymore. Uh, it was real 
emotional. That last game, watching these yeah, boys. I can imagine that. Phil Pierfee, uh he's a local guy. He's from uh, Wilson High School. Played with Joel a lot, and he played it with him at Arcadia. Uh, all of them, guys, great season. Proud of you. Um, that's about it, I think, for my shout-outs. I got to always say, you know, I love Ada and my two boys at home, Spencer and Wimpy. Yeah. Cool beans. So I'm, I'm good, man. That was a good show. More. Marty! To our band, Venom Assembly, my original project, we have a song coming out called The Road. Uh, should be out on uh, YouTube and uh, all play, the different... Play us out with a couple of wrists or something. Yeah, he can... I know it's not Jesus. released yet. You don't want to release anything prior, but... Uh, you can give a taste. You can give a, a little teaser. teaser. Yeah. Marty, Marty. Marty. Uh, we have another one coming. Um, let's see, so... <laughs> Peace out, he probably needs a cigarette. Yeah, no, no, I need my glasses on, oh. first of all, because it'll take me a while to get this, but love our Tony show, episode five, baby, Fuck yeah. with our special guests. That's the reason we get views. We know me and Lincoln are really... Cycle Station yeah. Slim. Yeah, if it was just the two of slim. us, it would only be Andrea. Miss Katie, the greatest rock guitarist on the planet, and me and Lincoln. That's what it is. Hey, we're all right. <laughs> Peace out.